for uh, Patrick and Ross. Coach was just talking about uh, how this took a whole team effort tonight. Um, I don't know if you guys are, are busy taking instruction while the defense is out there, but but if you got the chance to, to see some of their, their efforts, what do you think of what, uh, what the defense did for you guys tonight? I absolutely loved how the defense played tonight. I thought they held it together. Um, so many of them made so many different plays at uh, clutch times. and It was super fun to watch. I, I love, I love uh, playing with those guys on Saturday. And just to piggyback off him, um, they gave us a chance to win the entire game. And then, um, I, you know, we were up a little bit, and then they decided to take it in their own hands and seal it. <laughs> you know, so it's a, it's a great thing to have a really good defense, that's for sure. You know, especially when um, just looking at the numbers, you know, not getting as many completions as usual and all that stuff. So, uh, again, man, they played awesome tonight. Back right. Okay. Uh, for both of you guys, you guys are now 3-0 and a win tonight on national TV over an SEC team. Do you feel like this was sort of a statement, not just tonight, but now heading into conference at 3-0? I don't think a lot of people expected that outside your locker room. Uh, winning's fun. And, yeah, we've, we've always just kept the focus on ourselves. And each week in practice, worrying about going 1-0. and um, I don't really, I don't know if we ever really think about over oh, three and zero oh, or we're in this position. I think we just take it day by day, and focus on ourselves. Ross, uh, I think uh, I think Conavai has four or five conversions on third or fourth down for you this year. Talk about how important he is uh, for you when you kind of need to find somebody. You gotta, you gotta give up our secret weapon, man. <laughs> 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 no, he's. You know, he's just, he can do anything that we ask of him. And, um, you know, very clutch, you know, hands, very smart player, very durable player. Um, you know, and he's, you know, it helps to have the right play call on too. That, that's definitely a piece of it. So it's, uh, it's fun just because you know he's going to execute whatever his job is. And that's the ultimate trust with every guy that's in, not just him, but, you know, he's definitely proven it over and over. But, um, you know, like again, just a really good player. Ross, can you talk about what Patrick did? To, you know, he had a huge game last week, coming off the bench, but today starts, delivers again, and also Vic came in and, and really gave you guys a lift. And what the running game meant for you guys tonight? Yeah, um, I thought we controlled the line of scrimmage really well, and I thought we did exactly what we planned on doing. Um, you know, we had some gas runs, we had some, you know, explosive plays in the run game, um, and I thought we just. It set us up for you know short second downs or short third downs all night, um, you know, and they've just been doing a heck of a job. You know, just I get the best seat in the house to watch, so it's you know it's really fun seeing what these guys can do. Early on, they had or actually throughout the game, they had single coverage on your outside guys. You think that may have been because Demetrius wasn't out there and they didn't have to bracket him? No, I mean you know they show multiple looks on film at least for the first two games this this season that they played, but. Um, you know, we were assuming that they were going to try to man us up and see what they were doing. Um, they still gave us some different looks here and there. But um, other than that, we still feel confident. If you want to press us, go ahead. And that's, we take that as disrespect, and, you know, we're going to try to do everything we can to make you reconsider what you're thinking of doing. Well, it's not that opening drive in the second half sort of set the tone after half of the way you guys played this. You know, we made our adjustments at halftime. You know, we talked as... Um, you know, just kind of everybody, um, you know, just to like, let's just relax, let's go play our game, you know, we can't worry about what's just happened, um, you know, and we know that our, you know, we know the second half's our half, you know, I think this team is, we just don't flinch, I just, you know, whether we could be down, we could be up, it's, I think this team is just always prepared to kind of, for, for, for like waiting for the adversity to hit, because we know that's when we kind of play our top game. And uh, it's fun. It's fun for me just because I just know everyone's going to be executing at such a high level when we need them to. So the trust factor's through the roof. So it's really nice. In the back? Uh, it seems as though the offense has played a lot better in the second half over the course of the season. So how do you keep the momentum going into the next, into the next game so that you can play a more complete game against much tougher Pac-12 opponents? You know, I, I think it's just we got to be more consistent. Um, you know, when we do 
get a good start to a drive, you know, I can't miss a pass. I have to, you know, this or that, or we have to, you know, whatever the case is, honestly. Um, you know, it seems like we love, you know, sputtering ourselves out at times when we're rolling and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, that's just something we have to learn from. And uh, it's unfortunate, you know, I have to learn the hard way a couple of times with some throws I wish I had back or some plays that we wish we had back. But, um, you know, luckily they're, they're usually in the first half and we can come back from those and uh, just kind of push through everything and kind of have that what's next mentality. You guys good? I'll get one last one. Yeah. Well, did you guys, when you talk about adjustments at the halftime, did you make a lot of them, or was it just for kind of doing what you do right? Yeah, it, you know, there weren't, you know, there weren't too many adjustments. It was more, let's just get back to playing our, our ball and knowing what we can do and just taking care of our job. You know, that's really all. I think after the after halftime, I think we all just settle in so well, and we just. We just thrive in that moment of like when our back's against the wall type and we need something to happen. And uh, I think, you know, with that halftime, it wasn't so much making adjustments, it was more just talking to each other, hey, let's get this going, you know, we gotta figure out what's wrong, we gotta fix it, and all this stuff. And it's, you know, they're simple fixes. It's not, it's not like we're missing a whole bunch of stuff. It's just a little stuff to tweak and big stuff will happen. So, um, it's just, uh, it's fun. I'm having fun. That's, I don't know, I'm speaking for us, but uh, it's just fun just because there's nothing that our coaches don't, they, I mean, they, we prepare every, you know, for everything during the week. You know, there's nothing that surprised us during this game. That's why I think the adjustments were so light at half. It, you know, that we'd go over pretty much every single thing that they could do, and if they choose to do something different, we'll talk about it usually at the sidelines, not wait until halftime. So it's, uh, it's really good. It's really nice. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys.